Welcome back. Last month I released my review of the new cream-colored 2020 Alpinist, or as I like to call it, the Ghost Alpinist. Overall, it's just a stunning watch, if not maybe an overpriced one. But while I was working on that review, one of the things that particularly interested me was aftermarket bracelets for it, and specifically if the bracelets that were made for the older Sarb 017 would fit the new one. So to find out, I contacted two companies that I knew sold bracelets for the Sarb 017, and that's Strapcode and Uncle Seiko. Basically, I told them I was working on a review and I wanted to pass on the information. Now, Strapcode responded by saying that their bracelets should fit with no problem, and to keep an eye on their Instagram for some examples. Meanwhile, Uncle Seiko thought they would fit, but they hadn't quite tested it yet. So, to find out for certain, they were generous enough to give me two bracelets to try on my Alpinist. Now, since I showed off both of these bracelets in the review, it's pretty obvious that they did fit. But I wanted to follow that up with a short review for each of these bracelets, just for those who want to get a bracelet for their own Alpinist. Now, I still haven't gotten a bracelet from Strapcode, so I can't do a direct comparison between theirs and Uncle Seiko's. But I did notice three differences between the two companies that I did want to point out. The first is style, that they're completely different between the two companies and there's no overlap. Currently, Strapcode sells two types of bracelets, an oyster and a jubilee style, while Uncle Seiko has a president and a beads of rice style bracelet. So if you're looking for a specific type of bracelet, that pretty much narrows down where you should look. The second thing is price. Strap codes are generally more, kind of ranging from $86 all the way up to $160, just depending on what you're looking at. While the two Uncle Seikos are less, at $69 and $74 respectively. Which then leads me to number three, and perhaps one of the reasons for the price difference. And that's that all strap code bracelets are listed as having solid end links, while Uncle Seikos are all folded. So just bear that in mind while you're shopping around. But let's move on to the bracelets themselves, and we'll start off with my favorite, which is the Beads of Rice bracelet. Now everyone's tastes are going to be different, but I love the way this one looks on my Alpinist. I originally thought the cream colored version would be a lot more casual, but when I put this bracelet on it just blew my mind away. It simply looks fantastic. First off, let's talk about the fit, and I think this is the same for both bracelets. The fit isn't perfect, but it's pretty close, and you can see that in these macro shots. There's just a little bit of a gap and it sticks out just slightly, but I mean we're talking about a quarter to maybe a half a millimeter here. So basically I don't think you're going to notice it in everyday use, at least until you start looking at it really closely or zoom in on some photos like this. The overall finishing of the bracelet is good, and it has a nice brushed outer section and the aforementioned very polished beads of rice in the middle, which I think gives it a great two-tone effect in the light, and just a killer look in general. Each link is fully articulating, and there are eight removable links to help you adjust it to your wrist, and they are held on by just your standard pin. Now, just for reference, I do have a 7-inch wrist, and I wound up removing three of the links, and I have it on the furthest micro-adjustment hole on the clasp. So I think for most people, this should fit them just fine, but if you do have a larger wrist, it might not work for you. The bracelet starts off at 20 millimeters, but then tapers just slightly to 18 before getting to the clasp. And the clasp itself is really well made. It's a milled push button diver style clasp, and it is signed with the Uncle Seiko logo. While the clasp isn't anything fancy, it does have a nice tight fit and works exactly as it should. I think if the bracelet had solid end links, it would be just fantastic. But as it is, I think it's still pretty great. It just seems really well made with a great solid feel to it. Not only does it look fantastic, but those fully articulating beads of rice really conform to your wrist. So it's just comfortable as well, which explains why this bracelet has lived on my Alpinist since that review. So I think if you do like this look, then this would be a bracelet I would recommend you get. However, I can't quite say the same about the President style bracelet. Partly because I'm not a fan of the style, but mostly because of its clasp. Although I think I'm getting ahead of myself. 
Let's back up a little bit. Now, like the Beads of Rice bracelet, I think the President looks great on that Alpinist and really does change up the look. And it also has fully articulating links. Now, the links here are brushed on top with a really polished look on the side. It starts off at 20, but then further tapers down to 16 before the clasp. So I think this shorter middle section, as well as that tapering, really helps it to conform to your wrist and is also just as comfortable. Now, where things start to really differ with the President's style bracelet is just in the general feel of it. It's a lot lighter than the beads of rice. In fact, I think it's about 20 grams lighter, so it's definitely something you can feel. And a big reason because of that loss in weight is because of the clasp. Where the beads of rice had a nice push button milled clasp, this one is just stamped and it's just sort of a friction flip open. While it does have a lot more micro adjustment holes, it just doesn't feel near as well made. And not just because of the feel, but because both of those locks are a lot harder and a lot tighter to open. Now, I do want to stress that this isn't a bad bracelet in any way. In fact, I think it's pretty decent and could give you a good lifetime of enjoyable use. It's just that it didn't impress me near as much as the Beads of Rice one did. So in terms of quality, I think the President style bracelet is pretty similar to what you get on a standard Seiko or Orient Diver. So if you do like the look, then I do think it's a decent buy, if for no other reason than this is the only President style bracelet I know for the Albinist. It's just that personally, I'd go for the Beads of Rice for four bucks more. Even if I didn't like the style better, I still think it has a better feel and clasp. Although I would be curious to see how these both compare to the bracelet that comes on the new black model. So I'd love to see one of those, but I can't think of an easy or practical way to get a hold of one. I think at some point they'll start popping up on eBay, but I'm willing to bet they're going to be really expensive. Anyway, that about wraps it up. But as usual, let me know down below in a comment what you think about these bracelets, or what do you think about how they look on the Alpinist. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for joining me.